MailChimp recently introduced the webhooks functionality to their automations. And what this means is when a automation is triggered in MailChimp, you can send that information from MailChimp to somewhere else. For example, to another automation tool or to a CRM, things like that. And I was just setting up a project for a client using this feature and I personally got a little bit confused because the documentation in MailChimp is really not great around these webhooks. So I wanted to show you a video of how you can set this up just in two minutes and explain things so you can work through it yourself. So give you a context about what the project is for the client. My client has a, a welcome sequence. Someone opts in, there's about a 10 or 11 email welcome sequence. And we essentially wanna count up for each person, how many of those emails did they open? And what I'm gonna have to do is, I have to basically create MailChimp automations for each email that essentially is triggered by the, the email being opened. So I'm gonna add another starting point, another starting point for each email being opened. And then I'm gonna send that information from MailChimp to another automation tool called make.com and I'm gonna count up those opens in a Google Sheet. And then once people hit a certain number of opens, we deem them as quite hot leads and then the outbound dialers will call those people. So it's gonna help them convert more clients, close more deals. So I thought I'd create this video to show you that walkthrough because it's gonna be helpful. And again, the MailChimp functionality of the webhooks was not very clearly defined in their, in their documentation. So you can see here, the automation starts by by a campaign being opened. And then the second step is this webhook step. So you go here, you add webhook, and you can see it's still in beta. So they're still gonna add stuff, I imagine. And now you're gonna open this up and you're gonna see two things, the, the webhook name, the URL destination, and then we also care about the payload. The, the name, you can make it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. But the URL destination, you're probably thinking, what is this, where, what is this? So this is where the information is gonna get sent to. And in this case, I am sending it to make.com, which is another automation tool. So if you were doing make.com, you would come here, add the webhook, create a custom webhook, and you just add a new one, and it gives you the address. And this address is what you copy across. If you want to do this in zapier.com, for example, I've got another video which is very highly ranked if you just search Zapier webhooks, and that will show you how to do it with Zapier, set up a Zapier webhook. But anyway, we take that URL, we put it into the URL destination. And now where you're gonna get tripped up is here. You're gonna probably think, what the hell is this payload? The payload is JSON data, and that includes all of the key and values, key and values that we want to send to make.com or Zapier or the CRM, and then we can do something with that information. But unless you add something to the payload, make.com sends nothing. It's quite weird that that's their default. Maybe they'll change this once it's out of beta, but I would have assumed by default they'd at least send the email, first name, number, last name, for example. But they send nothing unless you add it. So just showing you here how you actually add the information you're gonna need. So you've gotta have two curly braces firstly. That is how you start defining JSON data. You can see here everything on the left in the quotations is the key. And then everything on the right is the value for that key, also in quotation marks. So you can see here, in this case, I just include the campaign name. I actually need to remove this, I realize, because I'm gonna have multiple starting points. And then the email, obviously that's what we need, which is really important. Now you're probably thinking, well, how do I even get the email in? So we need to use the merge tags that you would also use in a regular email. So for example, if I come to the, the a regular draft campaign and I go to merge tags, that's how I got to that email, uh, that funny looking piece of text which ends up being the email. But you can get the full list of all the ones you can include if you come here to MailChimp.com, you can see all the merge tags. So this is how we could include first name, last name, email, phone. So for example, if I also want to include first name, I'll just copy that, the full thing, to make sure you include it, add another comma, you go first name, and you would just go quotations, and then first name. And then that would be, that would allow me to receive the email and the first name in make.com when these emails are opened. So I wanted to make that quick tutorial because I was even a bit confused by the complete lack of documentation. 
And obviously if you are trying to play with these types of webhook features in MailChimp and you need help setting it up, you can obviously reach out to me because now I know how to do it. And this is what I do, I, I set up no code and marketing automations for businesses who wanna use it as part of the sales pipeline and their marketing. And if you need help also with make.com automations, zapier.com automations, that's also part of what I do. So feel free to reach out. You can just find links in the description or in my channel's bio 